Mr. Abdus, Legend Diop, uh, managing partner of Massars. Thank you for being with Atalayar. It's a pleasure, like last year. I think every year it's now a rendezvous, as we say. Uh, Barcelona is hosting the, the second edition of the Africa Spain Business Summit. Uh, last year we were talking to you in, in Madrid. Uh, what has changed uh, since, since last year? Uh, what is the, the perception of, of the relations between uh, European countries, European investors and, and Africa? I think that uh, last year was the first step to really uh, exchange, present and talk about the relation, I would say, paved the basement. And since, since that, many things have changed, the, the global environment, because uh, uh, we were under a big stress of uh, the crisis, just coming out from COVID and having this uh, Ukraine-Russia crisis. Now, uh, things are moving forward smoothly. African countries are regaining on uh, confidence in their economy. And we have more and more investment. We are reducing a little bit the debt crisis. So I think the context is more favorable. And the second thing which is very important is that uh, Spanish companies are also doing better in Africa because uh, since then we have some contracts, interesting contracts that have been won by Spanish companies. I'm talking, for example, uh, about the desalination project in uh, Morocco and some other projects. And the third point, which is very important, is that uh, one of the key, uh, I will say, um, chains of this relation is the relation between Morocco and Spain, because they are the two closest countries of these two continents. And uh, uh, I think that uh, last year, the relation started to, uh, I will say, uh, reboot. And since that, we have had uh, very interesting visits of Spanish government in uh, Morocco, and also Moroccan private sector and public sector have done many visits in Spain. So things are being built uh, more softly, and uh, we are in a real uh, new deal in the relation between Spain and Africa, and in general, Europe and Africa. Uh, you have been talking about uh, Morocco and, and Spain. How important is uh, a good uh, diplomatical, political, and economic relationship between the, the two countries to, to promote trade ex exchanges with the rest of, of the countries of Europe and Africa? Uh, today, uh, it's two countries that are uh, 14 kilometers close one to the other. So uh, it's very important when you have 45% uh, of Spain exports in Africa, which is going to Morocco. And when you have Morocco, which is the first partner of Spain in exporting and import, to have a very strong relation if we want to build this gateway to Europe and Africa. It's a key in the relation between Europe and Africa. So it's important for us that the relation goes well. And that's the case. when uh, Today, when you have uh, uh, this important visit that have been uh, held to Morocco by the head of the government of Spain with more than 14 ministers. The ma most of the discussion was not about only investing in Morocco, but investing in Morocco as a gateway for Africa. And all the points of discussion, and I had the privilege to, to, to be part of the discussion as president of the African Committee at the Moroccan private sector, was about that. And even when we came in Spain in January and also uh, in February, we have visited different regions. L most of the discussion with the COA, with the Fomen de Trebal, was about uh, this uh, gateway, how Moroccan companies and African companies can through Spain invest in Europe and how Spanish companies can through Morocco invest across the continent. So, so this relation between the two countries is very important for the relation between Europe and Africa, and we try to really uh, use it as an example, because what we want to do between Africa and Europe is what is being done between Spain and Morocco, and it's very important to showcase it and to mm, show to other countries that it can happen. We have this important project in solar, in renewable, in infrastructure, 
that shows that Spain has a very interesting expertise to bring to Africa. And we have this potential of Africa that shows that it's important for Spanish companies to be more in investment than in trade in Africa. And it, that's why this relation is very key for the relation between Europe and Africa. Uh, what reforms, what uh, changes do you think are necessary or what's needed to, to increase the, the confidence of European businessmen and investors in the African continent? Uh, I think the first point, and uh, uh, it has been discussed a lot uh, during this conference, is about communication. About communication, that means how we brand Africa. You know, uh, the, the perception of the risk in Africa uh, is much higher than the reality. And we need, as African, to really uh, rebrand uh, the story, rebrand Africa, to make understand to all the Spanish and European investors how the risks are mitigated, and it's important to be transparent in the risk, but also to show what is done in the field to really mitigate the risk, because it's a reality. Uh, there are risks, but everything is in place. We have seen, we have uh, laws that have been implemented, we have, uh, so these legal frameworks, that, that, that works really in the ground. Uh, when you talk about OADA, which is uh, common law of 17 countries, and the Justice Court of OADA, it's not something just on paper, it's something that is working in the ground, but people doesn't know it, so we need to uh, talk about it. And also, uh, sometimes when there is political instabilities in some African countries, uh, people think that uh, when the newcomers are in, everything changed, no. There is a continuity, there is a stability in the business relations, and that's also very important. And also it's important to uh, brand what is the new uh, philosophy of African leaders, which is to move from aid to common prosperity and investment. And that's very important. We are open to investment, African countries are transforming their economy, many are going to industrialization, and I think that it's important to showcase all that, what is doing being done at the legal perspective, what is being done on a government governance perspective, what is being done on the economic perspective, on the development plans, and how we can work together to move forward and to take advantage of this growth in Africa for the benefit of the population, because that's key for Africans. And we, the media and communication people, we had a job to do in, in communicating and transmit the reality of the, of the African countries. Yes, I think it's uh, very important for the media to give another message uh, of what is being done in Africa. And that's why whenever you ask me in interview, I come because you are giving the right perspective of Africa. You are talking about economy, you are talking about progress, cooperation, relation. You are not talking about uh, disasters and so on because you are focused on this economy which is really uh, fueling the relation between Europe and Africa. And it's important for uh, the, the, the journalist and the media to really give the right perspective. We don't want to hide things. We just want to give the, big, the global picture, not only the sad picture, and that's very important, and thanks to you to giving us the occasion to, to present and to showcase Africa on the right way. Mr. Diop, thank you for your time, and I hope to see you in the third edition of the Africa-Spain Business Summit next year. Yes, inshallah, it will be a great pleasure. I don't know where it will be held, but hope that we have done it in Madrid last year, this year in Barcelona, it showcased also the importance of the regions, that's very important, and hope that next year it will be also in another region, and hope also to see you before that and see, see you somewhere in Africa, not only in Spain. Okay, we'll see, we'll see you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>